Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. dear friends. Uh, we are back with our next Quranic Easy Arabic Grammar lesson. Today we are going to learn about the gender of a noun. We would learn the four properties and its isam, then we would learn the types of gender, then we would learn how we are able to identify different genders from Quran and Majeed, inshallah. As we've already learned that there are three types of words in Quran and Majeed that is categorized as isam, fail, and harf, and we've also learned how we can identify these words. Isam can be identified with the help of signs, alif, lam at the beginning of the word, Whereas the mean round ta and alif ta at the end of the words. Likewise, fail can be recognized with the help of four alphabets that is ya, ta, hamza, and noon. And help cannot be recognized with the help of signs as it does not have any specific sign. Now, as Islam forms more than 50% of the Quran and Majid, so we would start our studies with the Islam. Now you must know that every ism has four different properties. Like a car has a four wheels and without any wheel, car cannot be driven. Likewise, we need to understand the four properties of an ism if we want to correctly identify it and use it. The first property of an ism is gender. Gender can be divided into masculine and feminine. Second property is number, that is singular, dual and plural. Third property is definiteness, that is definite and indefinite. Fourth property is case ending. Now, uh, out of these four properties, you are all uh, already familiar with the gender, number, and definiteness, whereas case ending is a new property uh, which uh, specifically uh, is found in Arabic language rather than in any other language. Today, we are going to start off our studies from gender. Now, like every other language, Arabic has also two types of genders, that is masculine and feminine. Now, the next question is how we are able to identify which ism is a masculine or which ism is a feminine. It is a very simple formula. Every word found in Quran and Majid, if it is an ism, we would consider it is masculine unless and until it proven feminine. This is because the feminine isms used in Quran are much in less number than the masculine number. So if we can identify correctly the feminine words, the rest of all the words would be categorized as masculine. Now the feminine words can be categorized in two further categories. One is called real feminine words, another is called fake feminine words. What are the real feminine words? These are the words which represent biologically feminine beings which uh, like mother, like sister, like cow, in all languages of the world, biological feminine beings would always be treated as feminine. These are called real feminine. Once we talk about the fake feminine, the fake feminine in every language, there would be different principles which would uh, deal with the fake feminines. Now, now, what are the fake feminines? These are those words which are not biologically feminine, but they would be treated as feminines as Arab call them feminine. So we do not have any specific principle, but uh, we would just consider the fact that Arabs call them feminine. So we would also be considering them feminine, like Mirwahatun Fan, Zikra, Reminder, and Sahra Desert, etc. Now, these fake feminines can be further subcategorized into the one type of category would be the one which can be identified through signs and other words which do not have a sign, but we would simply remember or memorize the groups which Arab used to call them as feminine. Now, what are the signs which can enable us to identify feminine? Uh, let's find out the signs. First sign which would help us to identify the gender of an ism, it is a round ta which occurs at the end of the word. This is also known as tai barbuta. Example is Layla. So now, if we have a round ta at the end of the word, it definitely means it is a feminine noun. Examples are Ghurfatun, Shajaratun, Salatun, Tilmizatun, Sahlatun, Qariyatun, etc. These all words are feminine because they have a round ta at the end of the word. 
The second sign which enables us to identify feminine is alif and elongated ta. This is also known as ta'ib mafsuta. Example is hamidatun. Further examples are muslimatun, mu'minatun, warifatun, kafiratun, zalimatun, etc. Now all these words are feminine because they have the sign alif and elongated ta at the end of the word. The next two signs which would help us to identify the feminine gender are one is alif mamduda that is alif and hamza at the end of the word this is known as alif mamduda example is sahra and the last one is alif maksura that is husna is an example of these words now further examples can be seen as alif mamduda examples are safra sauda hamra bayza Sahra, Zarqa, etc. These all are feminine because they have the Alif Mamduda at the end. Please also note down these are specifically used for the colors. And the next example is Alif Maksura, Al Kobra, Taqwa, Sufra, Husna, Salma, Kobra, etc. These are mainly used as comparatives. Now, please also note down the major signs to identify feminine from Quran and Majid. These are the first two signs. That is round ta at the end of the word and alif and elongated ta at the end of the word. These are the two major signs. Uh, the words with the help of alif maksura and alif mandhuda, they are less in number in Quran and Majid. Now, the second category of fact feminine was the words which Arab used to call them as feminine. Now, we do not have any principles. We do not have any signs to identify these words. So, we would simply memorize few groups which would enable us to identify the feminine words used in Quran and Majid. These are, first group is the name of winds used in Quran would be considered as feminine like Rehun, Sarsarun, Sabumun, Names of fire used in Quran would also be considered as feminine like Naar, Jahannam, Jaheem, Sa'ir. Names of wines used in Quran would also be considered as feminine like Khamrun, Khartoumun. Names of countries or cities, they would also be considered as feminine like Misr, Madian, Quraysh. Body parts in pairs would always be considered as feminine like Yadun, Rejdun, Udun, Ainun. And there is some uh, miscellaneous words which would also be considered as feminine like Samaun, Arzun, Shamsun, Nafsun, Darun, etc. Now every body part which is in pair would be considered as fake feminine. Examples are Shafatun, Khadun, Uzunun, Ainun, Mankabun, Mirfakun, Qadamun, Saqun, Kabun, Akibun, Yadun, Rijlun. To uh, enable you to memorize them easily, I would be sharing the document where it would have an illustrative way to identify and memorize these body parts which are in pair. Now, rest of the words, uh, we can memorize them with the help of a story, a short story which would be covering all the fake feminine words used in Quran and Majid. Now, the story is A man was daydreaming and he was looking up at this uh, sma, that is sky, until Shams came up. When he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only nafs left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by nar, so he used a dal full of water to make a spear all the way to uh, suffer ours. In the hot blowing grief, he was desperately looking for a bear to draw water from. In his search, he found an empty dar inside which he finds a cask full of hum. He is tempted despite his fear of Jahannam to take a sip, but words of his temptation and use his asa to strike the drink. Now these are the few words which you can memorize them with the help of a story. This is the list of these words uh, which are used in Quran images as feminine like Samaun, Harbun, Shamsun, Narun, Nafsun, Asa, Sabir, Re, Arzun, Darun, Be'nun, Dalun, Khamun, Ka'asun, Jahannam and Roya. And to enable you to memorize these words, uh, illustrative picture would also be shared. This would make you, uh, this would make a case easy for you to memorize these words from Quran and Majid. So, if we summarize today's lesson, we can simply say gender can be divided into masculine and feminine. Feminine can be further divided into real feminine. Real feminine are those which are biological feminists like a mother, like sister. 
and the other type of feminine is a fake feminine fake feminines can be get identified through the help of signs like uh, round ta alif and elongated ta at the end of the word alif maqduda and alif maksura then there are few groups which are identified as fake feminines like wind names five names wine names body parts in pairs and few story words alhamdulillah so today we have learned the very important property of an ism that is gender uh, we pray and seek guidance from allah tbarak wa taala if you have not subscribed the channel yet you are requested to subscribe like comment and share students of quran and majid so that you would be uh, finding the quranic easy arabic grammar lessons on daily basis to enable you to understand quran and majid and arabic grammar in a super easy way سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته